What's going on guys? It's Snowball and today I'm back with episode 2 of the Goal Oriented Player Lock series. Uh, if you have not seen episode 1, go watch it now. I should leave a card in the upper right hand corner uh, to that video. So go watch that video and then come back and watch this one. Uh, but basically if you, do not, if you have seen that video, sorry, um, you should know that our goal was 12 assists. And we ended up with 14 assists which means we got 5 attribute points. Um, and before I spin the wheels to see what our goal is today, I should mention that I did add a couple more goals. One is a just get a double double, that's a level one goal. And then one I added to level two was like 15 points and 12 assists or something like that. Um, but a couple things I need to do before I end up uh, spinning for those is I need to make sure that Rudy Gobert is not taking any three pointers uh, because last game he took seven of them and that makes no sense at all so I'm just going to lower all of his three point tendencies down to zero because Rudy Gobert is not going to be taking any threes for us all right so that's done the next thing I wanted to do was give myself some more minutes um, I started off with 16 minutes and I think I did pretty good in those 16 minutes 10 points 14 assists 60% from the field, 50% from the free throw line. Um, so my per 36 after one game is 18 points and 25 assists. So I think I deserve a few extra minutes. I'm going to probably up myself to about 20 minutes. Hopefully 20 minutes should be enough to give myself some level two goals and whatever. All right, it's time now to spin the wheels to see what level goal we get and what goal in that level we get. Starting off with the level, of course. Come on, please give me something good. Another level one. That is huge. If we get goal number one again, it looks like we might, we don't. Goal number two, and that is again, score 20 plus points on good efficiency. That's my goal for another five attribute points. I also decided uh, before I started recording, I'm not going to play this game against the Pelicans I'm gonna simulate this game and then I will play this game against the uh, Memphis Grizzlies I don't know why I just feel like this this game against the Grizzlies is probably gonna be more fun so that's what we're gonna do and the Pelicans actually want to make a trade for D'Angelo Russell with CJ McCollum we're gonna decline that we ended up losing Cat is fully healthy, which I don't think he will actually be fully healthy by this date. We ended up losing to the Pelicans in this game. I ended up scoring 13 points, 5 rebounds, and had three, just 3 assists, really? 3 assists, I guess, in 21 minutes of play. 4 for 10 from the field, 1 for 2 from 3, and 4 for 4 from the free throw line. Alright, um, now we have to integrate Cat into the rotation somehow. All right, so I got the rotation done. I'm still at 20 minutes per game, and we get to play on national TV here against Memphis. The Grizzlies atop the Western Conference, or sorry, second in the Western Conference, they should be. Um, we, are not, we are not taking this deal. And now Jordan McLaughlin's back. He is not going to be getting minutes right now because I am the backup point guard. Um, the Grizzlies are second, I believe, in the Western Conference. Yes, two and a half games back from the Nuggets. We are currently the 8th seed, which means we would be in the play-in, but we are only a game back of the Mavericks for the 6th seed. Um, so hopefully we can get some luck throughout the rest of the season to avoid playing in the play-in. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this one. I need 20 points on good efficiency as well to earn my next 5 attribute points. I do get fouled on a layup attempt there meaning I get a chance to score my first points of the game can I put them in I do hit the first one can I hit the second one I do so I'm up to two points here with about five and a half more minutes of play time for me here in the second quarter and that's something that you can probably expect a lot of in this game um, John Morant is going right around me because I have no speed whatsoever, especially in comparison to Ja. 
I do get a nice easy layup there though on the next possession. So two straight possessions that I score on, I'm up to four points. And we're not even a minute into the second quarter. I tried to get a run out there, but unfortunately Ja was there to play defense, forcing me into a tough layup, which I missed. So we are stuck at four points, and I believe that's now one for four from the field, which is not good efficiency. I get fouled on another layup attempt, um, which now gives me a chance to score my sixth, fifth and sixth points of the game, but again, just one for four from the field. Not great. I do end up making both six points, but bad efficiency. I need to improve the efficiency, stop taking tough shots. It's not going to help my case. Um, and unfortunately, if I do not get this done, that's minus 15 attribute points, meaning that I will um, unfortunately be down to negative 10 attribute points with only two games to get myself back up to positive attribute points. I'm able to get a bucket there after on the previous possession getting blocked on a shot that I wasn't even trying to take. I was trying to pump fake. Unfortunately, it didn't end up happening, but I am up to eight points. Still got three-ish minutes here in the second quarter. I was trying to look at the scoreboard there, so Ja just went right around me. About three-ish minutes left in the second quarter for me, and hopefully I can get a couple more points. Hopefully I can, you know, find my efficiency a little bit. Nice little assist there, unfortunately it doesn't count towards our goal, but it is nice to get some more stats in the box score for me, and also give my team a little bit of a boost as we have found ourselves in a bit of a hole. We are down two now. Jaw with a corner three, not able to hit it. But we can't grab the rebound and Steven Adams' shot barely falls off. He's going to the line for two. Adams ended up missing both free throws. I get a layup to go right there, and that puts me up to 12 points on actually pretty solid efficiency. Three for seven from the field, not terrible. Also five for six from the free throw line, pretty good. So pretty happy with that so far. If that's the end of our first half, I'm happy with it. All right, so my first half comes to an end, and we ended up with the 11 points and three assists, two assists, I believe that it is. 11 points, 2 assists on 3 for 7 from the field and 5 for 6 from free throw line. Solid efficiency. We are currently down by 6 to start the second half, 57-51. Um, wins are obviously important for us, but right now we're a 500 team playing against the second best team in the Western Conference in the Memphis Grizzlies. So a loss isn't super surprising here. We're going to get Naz Reed to post up as I'm going to turn the ball over. I do get to the rim there and I miss the layup. Wow. That's unfortunately, unfortunately, that's unfortunate. Aldama was there, but he was behind me. But his length maybe threw me off a little bit. I don't know. It's 2K. 2K is just going to make you miss at random times. But we should get a run out layup here. I do get it to go. I'm up to 13 points. That should be on four of nine shooting. So pretty solid. As Jaw's going to get to the lane but he's not going to be able to score as his shot was blocked we get another run out layup we do and this one goes in as well up to 50 percent from the field 15 points five of ten from the field um five of six from the free throw line just need five more points on solid efficiency and we should escape with five more attribute points Jaws going to get a nice pass to Santi Aldama, but Aldama's not able to finish. We're going to get another pick and roll run here. Oh, I thought I thought Cat, and Cat was in at center and Reed was in at power forward. That would have made more sense, I guess. But unfortunately, it was the opposite way around, and I turned the ball over because of it. And Ja was not able to capitalize, though, so that's good. I do get a nice assist there to Nazareth for three, putting us up by three with about a minute to go here in the third quarter. Still need five more points and have about seven more minutes to do it. 
I get to the rim, score again up to 17 points, 6 of 11 from the field. I just need to make two more shots and not take too many more. And we should escape with the attribute points that we need, giving us a little bit of a, a little bit more of a cushion going into games three and four. Again, every four games, I get to either upgrade or have to downgrade my player depending on how many attribute points I have. I'm able to get a nice layup to go around Jaron Jackson Jr., one of the best shot blockers in the league, putting me up to 19 points on good efficiency, above 50% from the field. I think I just need to make one of my next like three shots and we should be good. And here's an opportunity for me to do so. We get to 20 plus points, 21 points, four assists. And if coach took me out right now, I wouldn't be mad. I do have six turnovers, so maybe I would be a little mad at myself for that. But eight for 13 from the field and five for six from the free throw line. That's good efficiency. That's enough. We don't need to shoot anymore. We do need to fix our assist to turnover ratio um, as we are playing against the assist to turnover ratio god in Tyus Jones, who consistently year in and year out leads the league in assist to turnover ratio. Best backup point guard in the league. And that's gonna be a foul on Jalen Noel, sending one of the best free throw shooters in the league to the free throw line. And Bain misses the first. He does put the second one in though, and we are now down by one point with about eight and a half-ish minutes to go. A very nice assist there to Naz Reed puts me up to six assists. Again, assists aren't important in the scheme of uh, the goal for this episode, but it is important for me personally as I want to be a very good playmaker and getting more assists than turnovers is always a good thing. Um, even if you're not trying to consider yourself a playmaker. As that is going to be number six on Jaden McDaniels. Another assist on an Anthony Edwards three. And that puts me up to eight assists on the game. Again, not important, but still pretty cool that I was able to get my assist. Despite trying to be a scorer in this game. And we are up by four points with about five and a half minutes to go. So I should be coming out next dead ball. And that should wrap up my game. Ooh, I was going to go in with that one. That's not going to count as an assist. It was almost a turnover, but luckily Ant was able to grab it and score with it. We are up by six now. Hopefully that's enough of a cushion for the starters to come back in and hold the lead as that's going to be the end of my game. And we end up winning by three points. Wow. As I tied Anthony Edwards for the most points in this game at 21 apiece, he did it on a very efficient nine for 15 from the field and two for four from three as well. Um, really good game from Ant. Only 21 points, but efficient. Did other things. Seven rebounds, six assists, four steals, and only two turnovers. I'm happy with it. Really solid game from Ja. He was a plus two in their loss as well. But a win for us. We move back over 500 again. Let's see where that puts us in the standings real quick. We remain at eight, I believe, as the Jazz are, we are tied with the Jazz, I guess, for the seventh seed, and we are still half a game back of the Mavericks and the Suns for the, I guess, fifth seed, if we're going after the Suns right now. All right, but yeah, that does put me up to 10 attribute points right now, which is great. Gives me a little bit of a cushion because that means if I get a level two or, or sorry, a level three or level four, uh, even if I don't complete it, I will still have positive attribute points. Unfortunately, it will only be a few, but if I am able to complete one of those, then I'm going to have way more attribute points. Plus 10 or plus 15 would be great. Minus 8 or minus 4, yes it would hurt, but at least I would still walk away with something. Again, still two games to play, so there is definitely a possibility that I end up losing all of my attribute points. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It only takes a couple of seconds, it's completely free and it makes a massive difference. I would just appreciate it a ton if you could go do that. But that's going to be it for me. It's been Snowballer, and I'm out.